Hi Aries and welcome to your tarot love messages here. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. These messages are going to be general guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire. I'm going to list my email address just below the video here. So the messages here are intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and of course to those cross watching us. Well let's give the cards a say, um, let's give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you here. Okay, so what is it that we need to know for Aries here when it comes to matters of the heart? What are the messages for Aries? Okay, we do have a few cards for you here, Aries. You've got the Emperor here, the Page of Swords. You've also got the Queen of um, Wands here, the Hermit. Okay. Like this one wanted to come out. We've got the Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. All right, Aries. Um, so what are we seeing for you here? I feel like you're coming up as the Empress. Um, the Empress, sorry, here. You're coming up as the Emperor here. Um, someone whom you're connected with. Maybe someone whom you've recently met. Um, or you recently connected with. I feel like someone sees you as this Emperor figure you know someone who's a little bit older a little bit more mature a little bit more wiser someone who's very they've, he's got a quite a masculine energy quite a masculine aura the emperor doesn't he so this is someone who you know if you're a male um they they see you as the alpha someone um who can really take care of them um someone who's this you know this 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 dominance with the emperor um someone who's also warm um, and sensual as well but someone who likes to have that control so this is someone who sees you as yeah quite the alpha someone who um, you know takes control takes the rein here Aries the Emperor is someone who also because he's not he's not overly emotional so the emperor could also be someone who typically likes to take a break from his feelings. Okay, so um, if this is you, um, maybe there is, I mean, maybe the cards here are hinting that there could be so much going on in your life right now that maybe you just want to take a break from relationships. Or, you know, if you are in a romantic connection here with someone, maybe you just want to enjoy enjoy it for what it is maybe you're not necessarily thinking long term maybe you just want to be in the moment and see where the moment takes you here okay um because feelings can be a bit of a distraction for you right now or feelings will be a bit of a distraction for you because i feel like there could be someone that you're connected with this person is going to take you by surprise he aries because i feel like Normally, you're someone who doesn't necessarily give in to their feelings very quickly. You know, you're someone who does have a lot of love and a lot of passion to give. I mean, don't get us wrong, right? But it, it takes, I feel like, for you to fall in love or for you to form that intense connection, it takes a while. But for some of you, I feel like there could be someone that sort of just sweeps in and steals your heart. And I, you'll find it very distracting because you won't be able to stop thinking about them. You won't be able to stop trying to, you know, communicate with this person. Um, I see that, yeah, I feel, I feel like this person is going to be a, um, a real distraction for you. The other thing that I'm getting, because you're such, you know, for those of you that are sort of coming up as this emperor energy, you're such an alpha, um, and you're such a dominant figure, and you're someone who, you know, who, who, who knows what they want, and they like to take control. The other person finds this very alluring, because I feel like they're more on the submissive end, and, you know, they're happy for you to do the thing, and for you to do your thing, and take the lead, and take control, and I feel like that's probably going to um, appeal to you even more. That's probably going to make you know, the two of you even more so attracted to one another because you're like on opposite ends of the spectrum and you just, you guys just fit like a glove here. Um, I'm seeing that you're doing someone here, especially for those of you that I have connected with someone recently, whether online or, you know, um, if you just met someone, I feel like the two of you are trying to get to know one another and I see that this person is curious. Um, they definitely will get your attention though. Again, Aries, I feel like maybe you weren't necessarily anticipating um, what it is that they'll do to you, but you're, you're definitely, I see you very interested here, okay, the Queen of Wands energy, um, a very strong sexual energy, there's a lot of attraction here, you, you find this person very physically attractive, um, this individual also finds you very physically attractive too, um, you're taking it, you're, you're kind of taking it slow though, okay, because I feel like um, 
deep down inside you know this connection has potential or you haven't had it's been a while since you sort of connected on this level with someone so hence why you want to take it slow um, I see you doing a lot of Google searching or I see this person trying to sort of um, keep tabs on you, trying to do some Google searching. For some of you, I feel like maybe you meet this person online um, and you're trying to find out as much about them as you can. Like you're trying to stalk their social media platforms, or you're trying to Google them, you know, try and find out where it is that they work or who it is that they're connected with. You're very curious about this person. I mean, they've definitely piqued your curiosity or they definitely will pique your curiosity because I do feel like there's someone here for those of you that are single and, you know, you're putting yourself out there I feel like this person you just meet this person it's like you weren't planning it feels very unexpected but I'm telling you it's going to be a lovely surprise here because I feel like with this person's energy they can be a little bit withdrawn okay because you have the hermit energy here this person I feel like is more of an introvert rather than extroverted so they can be a little bit withdrawn I feel like you can be two very different um, people two very different elements as well guys two very different elements I'm getting um, but I feel like if if the two of you really want to get to know one another and if the two of you really want to you know keep out this commitment I think it could work wonderfully I really do um, and I feel like it's just all about you know getting like introducing them into your world and for them introducing you into their world and getting to sort of um, know one another there Okay, um, I don't know who this is, but I feel like there's someone here with the Five of Swords. Someone that's connected to you. Could be an ex or it could be someone that you might have recently connected with. But I feel like this person is sort of saying, they could be slandering your name here. Or they could be saying things behind your back. So, I feel like this person is in, a, in your circle. Somehow you, you were or you may still be connected with this person. Watch for anyone who's trying to disrespect you. Um... I don't mean to say that you have to fit into it, but I do feel like you have to call them out because I feel like they need to be put in their place because I feel like this is someone who's trying to drag your name through the mud. So um, maybe it could have been someone that you might have dated and then you blew them off or I feel, I don't, I don't know who this is, but I do feel like this person is still bitter. They're bitter and I feel like they're kind of, they're gossiping or they're gas bagging or they're kind of... Um, They've got bitter things to say about you. It's this bitter, brooding, resentful kind of energy. So I do feel like this person needs to... Um, I, I do feel like, you know, you, you need to call them out here. Because I feel like, yeah, they're dragging your name through the mud here. Um, what else do we have for you? I feel like there's going to be a lot that's happening for you. Um, and I'm seeing for a lot of you, I do see that there's a budding romance. Again, it's not necessarily going to start off... Um, it might start off a little bit non-conventional. So you guys might start off as friends or you just might want to, you know, dip your toes in the water, see where it takes you. Um, but I do feel like they're going to be quite a distraction for you here, Aries. Um, I'm also seeing you're juggling a lot. So for some of you, especially for those of you that do long hours or do shift work, somewhere in between then, you're really going to have to find time um, for this individual. Because if you don't, I feel like this person is... Um, this person is someone who's not going to sit around and wait for you, Aries. I do feel like, you know, if, if you don't give them the attention that they want and deserve from you, and that's not to say that they're demanding, but I, I just feel like this person doesn't sit around and wait for anyone. So if they're not getting, you know, your attention, they'll get it elsewhere. It's just, you know, they're quite attractive here. They're quite charismatic, quite um, charming. Um, they're definitely, you know, no, not short on attention here. So... Um, you know, make sure you don't neglect any romantic connections. Make sure you don't neglect in getting to know someone here because I do feel like there's, there's a lot of potential here, okay? It could, it'll could it start off as very fun. The two of you definitely have this physical attraction um, and though you are two very different elements, I really feel like you can find a way for that to complement, you know? Um, you can find a way for that to work here. All right, guys, these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.